Hi, thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this call. I'm so excited to share this story with you, to share how coaching has completely transformed my life and how it can do that for you too. Um, first off, I just wanna say I'm super excited that you're allowing yourself to seek answers to the questions and curiosity that you might have about something like this and just owning it enough and, and believing in yourself that you might be able to do this too. And that's a huge step. So um, I just wanna take you through a little bit about me, why I started my um, online coaching business, what's changed in my life, and more importantly, how I've changed it. So we're gonna go right into it and get started. Um, I am married to my college sweetheart. I think that's a thing. Uh, we've been together for 12 years. We've been married for eight. We have four children. We have twins, Brooklyn and Grayson, and then I have Hayden and Lincoln. So we are a full schedule household and there's never a dull moment, but we are um, super, super blessed. And I, you know, through my story, through coaching, um, these two little ones have uh, joined our family. So it's been a whirlwind, but it's been absolutely worth it a hundred percent. Faith is very important to me. It's that's another thing that I'm going to share with you, but that's grown so much since I've joined as a coach, um, and it's very important in my life. So if you follow me on Facebook, you probably know that. Um, Instagram as well is that, you know, God is a huge part of my life and a huge center of both my life and my business. Um, we recently just moved from Florida to Michigan. We were born and raised in Michigan. We moved to Florida, and that is where we started our family. We lived there for about seven years and made the move back in 2017 slash 18 to just be with family as we welcomed baby number four. So that's a little bit about me and I just wanna tell you why I started coaching. So a little bit of backstory, I was sharing and posting on social media and I had met this girl named Meg on a uh, like page, if you remember Oxygen Magazine, it was really big at the time. And uh, I met her on this page. She had messaged me and um, saw that I was doing the workout insanity and I was posting that on my social media. And she had asked me if I ever thought about coaching. And I kind of blew her off multiple times. Uh, she asked me to join a challenge group. She asked me to try Shakeology. She tried, you know, she was just trying to befriend me and help me do what I was already doing, um, but I was super hesitant. I did not want to be in sales. I did not want to have that icky feeling of network marketing, so I wrote her off for about two years, okay? So fast forward to 2013, I was a new mom to twins. I had just uh, not only become a new mom, but I was now a stay-at-home mom. So I went from working full-time, no kids, to being at home in Florida with no family and two little people who I was now responsible for. And that was a bigger transition than I thought um, because I am an introvert and I think like like many people, uh, not, a, not everybody, but you have these dreams to be a stay-at-home mom. So I was like, yes, I'm gonna be a stay-at-home mom. It's gonna be super fun, it's gonna be great. And about three and a half, four months in, it was great. I loved being able to be home with my kids. I loved not having to rush them off to daycare, but I really missed social interaction. Um, my profession before was a personal trainer and I had finally landed my dream job of being in corporate wellness. And as dreamy as that sounds, it was very unfulfilling in so many ways. But I missed my clients. I missed helping people achieve a goal they thought was impossible. I missed helping people believe in themselves um, and, and, and overcome these obstacles and you know look at themselves and feel good. Um, so I remember I was sitting there and I was posting about insanity and I had a few friends ask me about it and then they told me they went and purchased the program. And I was sitting there and I was like, you know, that Meg girl who reached out to me a while ago, she does this. Uh, and she just went to Disney World. Um, she just quit her job at 29. And, you know, she's doing what I'm doing. She's working out and sharing it on social media. Her life looks pretty great. And I was like, you know what? Maybe this might be for me. 
So I reached out to her. I watched a video like this, complete with PowerPoint slides at the time, and I watched it and I was hooked. I was like, I could, I could do this. Is it way out of my comfort zone? Absolutely. I asked my two best friends. I asked my husband. My husband's been trying to get me to do something like this for a while. And all of them are like, Brittany, is it exciting to you? Does it sound fun for you? Does it give you something to focus on other than the kids? And I said, yes, yes, and yes. And they said, go for it. Who cares what everyone else says? If it's something that you want and you think would be fun for you, go for it. The worst that can happen is you find out it's not for you and you quit. Who cares, right? So I was like, all right, I'm gonna do this. So I enrolled with uh, Shalene Extreme in Shakeology before ever trying it before in my life. I just took her word that chocolate vegan was gonna be great. And I dove right in and I've never regretted it. Have moments been hard? Yes. Have I almost quit? A few times. Um, pregnancy will do that to you. Adding to your family will do that to you. But every single time I don't quit, I'm so thankful because after I get through that hurdle, after I come through that season of life, there's so much growth and I'm able to help so many women who might be going through that same exact thing. So I started coaching because I wanted community. I was at home by myself and as, as an introvert, that was only fun for so long, like I missed human interaction. Um, I wanted accountability to my own health and fitness goals. I No one tells you what postpartum body looks like and so that was kind of a shock to me. Um, coming off an 80 pound weight gain from the twins with a C-section. So I didn't really start focusing on my fitness until about three and a half, four months um, in. And then, um, so I wanted accountability with that to get back to my pre-pregnancy self as best as possible now that I know, you know, it's not exactly possible to go all the way back, but you can lose the weight and feel good about yourself. And I thought, you know, if I do this and I do it well, if I could make three to $400 a month minimum, that would be huge for our family. And that means that like, we could you know, take a couple date nights, we could pay a babysitter, I could get my nails done, I could pay a babysitter during the week to kind of just let me go have some time by myself, you know, that would be great. So I started for a community, accountability, and to just have some fun money for our family, whatever that looked like for us that month. So I started diving into coaching, I started doing my workouts, that was the first thing I did, I was a product of the product, right? So as coaches, we have four vital behaviors that basically we should do daily. And I love that they call them the vital behaviors because not only are they vital for your business to succeed, but they're vital for wherever you are in life. Like these are four simple things that I'm telling my husband to do, that I want my kids to do, that I am teaching my clients to do who are not even coaching. Like I'm walking them through these four vital behaviors because I believe in them 100% to transform your life. So four things that we do is we work out and we eat well. I'm a product of the product, okay? It's those things that really hold us together, help us feel better from the inside and the outside. So working out and following nutrition, being a product of the product. The next one is sharing and community. And for me, as a coach, that meant doing my workout, um, eating healthy, drinking my Shakeology, drinking my water, having my rest day and sharing that on social media. So for some of you that might feel feel scary at first and I was petrified because now there was like a purpose behind it and I didn't want people to think that I was trying to catch them or something, but I simply just had to take a step back and say, how can this inspire somebody else? How can this help a new mom struggling get off the couch and go for a walk or have some pizza but have a salad as well, right? Like that was my intention. So being a, a product of the product, having community, sharing, um, or being a product of the product, sharing, and then inviting others that they wanted to. So just inviting them to, to follow me on Facebook or to join my free mom group or you know join a challenge group if they wanted to. The next thing was um, community and recognition, was recognizing when I did something good and sharing that and owning my success, but then also being a part of a community so that I could help others and celebrate other people. And by celebrating other people, that just makes you feel good. Like, it just feels good to look at someone else and say, I'm so proud of you, like, you did this. Like, that's a huge accomplishment. 
And to be in that community where that there was that recognition just fueled me to be my best self so that they felt better to be them, their best selves, right? So, and then the last one, and it shouldn't be the last one that I mentioned, but I, I have a reason for that in a minute, was growth and personal development. And that simply means diving into your devotions, reading, a, you know, what we call, you probably have a bad notion about them, a self-help book, um, but they're so great nowadays. Like, they're not your typical self-help books that came out so many years ago. Like, these are inspirational books. These are ordinary people living an extraordinary life and sharing how they went from, you know, the day-to-day -to, -day to where they are now and belief in themselves and um, tools and habits and things that they've adapted into their life so that I started adapting those into my life and I've started to see the change. Um, so when I started doing my workouts and eating right and being involved in community and sharing on social media and inviting people to join my community, um, I saw a huge change, right? I got into my pre-pregnancy body. I was in pre-pregnancy clothes. I was rocking my business. Things were grooving. It was great, right? But I would still look in the mirror and I would still nitpick at myself. I would still say, you're not skinny enough. I would still say, you need to be a little bit smaller. Um, I had a really unhealthy relationship with food prior to coaching, prior to marriage uh, that I needed to really work on and I did. Um, but if you've ever experienced that, you know that those demons like live right here and they will come out anytime to attack you. The devil will come out and attack you and that is one way that he used to have a hold on me was food and telling me that I wasn't enough. Where today, uh, because of the growth piece, because of the personal development, in 2015, I dove into that. I was like, you know what, this has to change. My mindset and my belief in myself has to change. And I wanted it to change for my business. Um, I was going for a huge business goal that year and I wanted to change that for my business. And it's crazy what happens because as I dove into personal development and as I dove into that last piece that I waited so long to dive into, that's when I started to change. That's when I started to grow. And that's when I started to really feel God's call on my life was that year. And, um, you know, we're, almost, we're three years from that. And since that year, uh, it was the year that I really felt God telling me that you're not done having kids. Um, I need you to have more. And, and so we did. We got pregnant with Hayden. And then at 10 months, um, postpartum with Hayden, we got pregnant with Lincoln. And so I know that God's call on my life is to be a mom, but my passion, like what gets me like even more fired up than my kids is this business, is this growth, is this connection, this community, this, this business is, it gives me purpose. It gives me fulfillment. It gives me joy. And if you're uh, you know, it. I, I feel guilty sometimes saying that, like, my kids don't, but my kids do. My kids absolutely do. But I get to show them, like, you get to follow your dreams, and God has given us all talents and gifts and resources and stories to share with others to further his kingdom and to help others in his kingdom, right? And to help other moms just feel confident and beautiful and fit and healthy where they are so they can be better moms. Um, you know, today I had a babysitter and I've been, was feeling really guilty about that. And, um, but I had time with my kids in the morning. I, I got them ready. I got them dressed. We had breakfast. We, they went outside and played. I played with Hayden and Lincoln. The babysitter came, ran some errands. Um, the, the kids were in the pool, having lunch, playing, learning. They, she was teaching them and she left at two. During that time, I was able to work my business and fill my cup, do things that, that I enjoy, that exemplify my gifts and my talents for the Lord. And then after she left, I was back on being mom until bedtime. So 10 hours out of my day, I was still mom, right? But there are other things that I believe God has instilled in you. There's dreams and hopes and desires and callings and passions and talents and gifts that we are meant to share and to gift to others. And this business allows me to do that. 
It allows me to do that on my terms, on my where it fits in my lifestyle. Um, I started my business doing nap time hustle and bedtime hustle. It's still like that pretty much to this day. Um, and it's just a real gift. And I've blown that $300 to $400 out of the water. Um, you know, this is really personal and to home, but when we were making the move from Michigan to Florida, we hadn't sold our Florida house yet. And we had found our dream home in Michigan, but um, my husband wasn't able to have the Florida house and the Michigan house. And we have a rental in Traverse City all on his name without me. And because I started this business five years ago, we were, we were able to move. We were able to move into our Michigan dream home while still having the mortgage down in Florida. And um, the only way that that was possible was because of this business. Without it, the bank would have told us, no, I'm sorry, it's not gonna happen. But because I've worked, if you wanna call it that, over the last five years to build a six-figure business and to earn an income for our family, we were able to make that shift. We were able to make that move. A, it was still stressful, but um, a lot, like God provided. Like he knew the plan. Like he knew we would need this financially for that. And I'm so grateful because without it, we wouldn't be here. Um, so I encourage you that, you know, maybe you're hesitant now. Maybe you're not sure why. Maybe finances aren't a goal of yours like they weren't for mine. You just wanted some fun money. But from experience, you never know where life is going to take you. And you never know where God is going to call you. And before he calls you, he's going to equip you. So this might be a stepping stone to get you from where you are now to prepare you, to equip you, to grow you, to so he can use you where he really needs you. And, um, you know, I believe that in my journey as a mom, uh, that I am a more confident mom. I am more confident in who I am and what my purpose is. And I wasn't like that before. I wasn't like that. I always tell Matt, you, I switched. <laughs> I'm not who you married. I'm like Brittany 2.0. Right? Like I'm a better, healthier, more confident version of who I was and I'm confident in who I was. And that's a gift from coaching. Um, so that's, that's what's changed in my life from working out, eating, being a part of community, sharing and inviting others and sharing my story. It's very therapeutic. It's kind of like journaling. Just everyone can read your journal. Um, but at the end of a busy day, like I don't look at it as putting all my stuff out there. I look at it as if I can help one mom not feel alone because she's feeling like a crappy mom or she's exhausted or she's tired or dang it, she does feel good and she should celebrate that. I want that. I want to know that they can do that too. And, and so that's why sharing my story is so important to me and I'm open to being vulnerable. And I hadn't always been that way. It took a long time to get there, um, but I'm there. So I'm gonna be real open and raw with you for a minute, okay? In 2015, my team hit an amazing goal. We were an elite top 100 team uh, in Team Beachbody, and it really hurts me to say this kind of, but I'm gonna be truthful with you. We haven't hit that goal. We weren't elite in 2016 or 2017. We are on track to be elite this year, um, but I can honestly say that even though we were not an elite team, that we missed some accolades, we missed some recognition in 2016 and 2017, there was so much more growth going on in our team and in me as a leader that I feel more fulfilled and confident and excited and joyful and passionate about this business right now than I did in 2015 when we hit that milestone. Um, and I say that because I think sometimes we go for you know the shiny things. We want the recognition. We want the big paycheck. We want to you know have those numbers. Um, but I believe that those numbers will come. That success will come when we start working on ourselves and start working with others, and we focus on what God's really calling us to do. And I truly believe that my calling and purpose in this business is to inspire moms and to help you feel joyful in your house and to help you have some extra income and to help some take some burden off the finances or to take some burdens off your husband um, but more importantly to help you grow in your confidence to grow as a mom to be confident in who you are and bring out the 2.0 version of you um, 
And so that the world can have all your talents and gifts and resources that God's given you. Um, so this business is your business. I'm here to mentor you, to be your friend, to encourage you. I have trainings and tips and tools that I will provide with you along the way. I will meet you where you want to go. Uh, if you want to walk and focus on you first, then we walk and focus on you first. If you want to focus on you and maybe help a few people along the way, I teach you how to do that. If you are like, no, this is it. I want to change my life. I want to help 10 people a month. I want a four, five hundred dollar, six hundred dollar income every month. Then we do that, and we have activities and, and checklists and way to fit this into your business or into your life um, at that speed. This is something that you're gonna have to make some sacrifice. You're gonna have to sacrifice sleep. You might have to sacrifice girl nights out. You might have to sacrifice getting up in the morning and moving your workout around. Um, now I, you know, work out in the morning with my kids awake, and that's okay. So that nap time comes, I have full business hours. Um, so there's gonna be some sacrifice. All good things require that. But a lot of those things that you're sacrificing weren't the greatest habits to begin with. So. All those TV hours, maybe sleeping in or staying up later watching, you know, whatever, scrolling Facebook. Um, we start to fill those non-productive times or scrolling or whatever with more productive times. That's really the switch that I made. I'm like, I'm going to be up till 11. I can do something to better myself, to better other people, and to help our family. Um, so we teach you how to do that. We teach you how to work this into your life uh, and meet you where you are because this is your business. So if your goals are here, then we're going to teach you what you need to do to get there. If your goals are here, we're going to teach you what you need to do to get there. If your goals are just to focus on, not just, but to focus on you and maybe coach down the line, perfect. We're going to do that and I'll walk with you the entire way. We have something for you. There's no wrong way to coach. Uh, there's... You know, Instagram, Facebook, face-to-face. -face. You go at your speed. You share what you're comfortable sharing. We will coach you and encourage you. There's a difference between being not ready for something and just not comfortable. If you're not comfortable and shy, we're going to work on that, right? That's part of personal growth. That's part of personal development is growing out of that comfort zone. And we're going to help you do that. And it's terrifying and nerve-wracking at first, but after you do it, it's such a freeing movement. It's such a freeing feeling uh, you, and it just keeps moving forward. Um, so if this sounds like something you want to do or when it sounds like a right time for you, there is no perfect time. But when you feel like you're ready to commit and do this, what you can expect is an email from me. I'll send you an email. It'll have some things for you to do, um, give you some basic information and give you a checklist that you can start and get organized and get set up for your business. Once that checklist is done, we will schedule one-on-one. -on -one. We can either do video or phone, and we will just touch base about the checklist, chat about your goals, and again, see what your goals are, and I will tell you like, hey, this is what you can expect. This is what we need to work on, and when do you want to start? Let's do this. And then after that one-on-one, -on -one, I will give you a link to a two-phased training um, on a website that you do at your own pace. Everything is on the, the website, everything's up there, videos, scripts, um, documents, all that stuff is right there. You have access to it forever. And then uh, also in that training, there will be a section for, um, you know, after this. So just common, common questions, common trainings that I often get from coaches, there'll be a section on that so that you have some videos to always learn and continue learning to grow your business. So. Ah, I think that's it. But thank you so much again for listening to this. I know that we are busy. We have full schedules. But if you can take the 30 minutes to listen to this call and just soak it in. And if anything resonated with you, if any part of my story just connect, you connected with and hit home with, I'd be happy to chat more with you about how we specifically worked through that area or um, that season of life through coaching and what I what I learned um, and how I overcame that. So thank you again for listening. I hope to see you as a coach on Team FHK soon. We are moving and grooving. We're helping people, and I would love for you to be a part of that. Um, make sure you message me on Facebook or Instagram, or you can send an email to me if we've discussed this via email, and just let me know what your next steps want to be, uh, and we'll pick your package to enroll as a coach, 
and we'll go from there. So thank you so much again, and I hope to see you on our team soon.